Hey, do you want to know why Soccer Pro software is so good? Well, I want to let you in on a little secret, and I want to go back to an adage before I do that, where they talk about how you do anything is how you do everything. So people are always complimenting me on my shop that I put in 20 years ago into this house. I've been in this house 20 years now. I bought this house when it was half done out of an auction. We ended up doing the balance of it ourselves along with some contractors. But this room is my room, all right? And I wanna show you what I've done. And then this will give you some insight as to why Soccer Pro is such amazing software and why it's better than anything else out there on the market. So let's just start off here. I wanna show you just a couple things. And I wanna start here because these are the things that you don't see in software. You also don't really pay attention to them when you are doing a shop. Now, of course, anyone that's ever had a shop knows that you can never have it big enough. So mine is no exception. Now, I would have liked to have taken this wall and pushed it that way another 10 feet, but I couldn't because there was already a bathroom plumbed in and the furnaces are in this room over here. So I had a bathroom to the left, the furnace room to the right. This was the maximum distance I could push this wall. And then I have the stairs over here, so I couldn't do much with this wall and I had to basically manage what I had making the compromises like you do in any other business. Now here's where it starts to get interesting because if you look at this panel this is a sub panel and this panel controls every outlet in this shop just in this room. So this entire sub panel is for this one room so I can control everything right from this wall and make sure that if I want to kill the power to any outlet to any machine I can do that right from here. Now Anyone else who's had a shop also knows you can never have enough of these outlets. And look what's unique about this. You see a 220 next to a 110 because that's the other thing. You'll have a 110 outlet or you'll have a 210 outlet, but you won't have both. What I decided to do in this shop was I put a 110 and a 220 right next to each other. Now, if we move over just a little bit, there's another one, 110, 220. And if we move over just a little bit further, 110, 220. And if we come over just a little bit further, 110, 220. Come to this side, 110, 220. Uh, that's a little bit in the way, but I'll come through here and you can see 110, 220. 110, 220. Basically, every five feet, there is another outlet. Okay, 110, 220, 110, 220, 110, 220. If you look up on the ceiling, 110, of course, I only want 110 because we're not gonna run machinery uh, cords up into the ceiling. This will be drop cords. Here we go, 110, another one, 110. So basically I've surrounded the room with 110 and 220. I have put outlets across the ceiling. And of course, if you look at the light, you can pretty much get a suntan in this room. I mean, there's so much lighting and it's because I hate shadows. Again, if you have ever owned a shop, there's nothing more infuriating than having shadows when you're trying to do work. So I just put so much lighting in here, it's almost impossible to get a shadow. All right, what's next? Well, after that, I don't like dust. So dust collector on the ceiling because you can never eliminate all the dust and a dust collector here with the micro filter at the top. And then of course we have it blast gated off. So it's a little harder to see that, but here you can see every machine is on a blast gate. So we can get full power to every machine. Another dust collector here and another dust collector here. Now the third thing you don't see is the flooring. So this is a pretty boring looking floor. All it is is a sheets of plywood, but underneath we put dry core. So dry core subfloor, it insulates the floor, it puts a moisture seal on it, puts a barrier into it, and then plywood over it. And the reason you want that is A, it keeps it insulated, your feet stay warmer, because this is a basement shop in the Midwest. And also, if you are going to drop tools, which you will, you want to have a wood floor. You don't want to have concrete because it damages your tools. So this is the type of thing that goes through my mind. You know, how do we make things robust? How do we plan for the future? How do we make it so that 
it operates in a very good way. And we do that by putting down a great foundation. Lots of outlets, dust control, electrical panel control, good flooring, and of course, organization. <laughs> I mean, right now, frankly, this is kind of a messy uh, day for my shop. I've been working on these cabinets, um, just making some utility cabinets to put into the Soccer Labs van and um, put some storage in there. So put a couple cabinets in, and again, even these, you know, these are made out of three quarter, you can tell it's three quarter inch plywood all the way through, three quarter inch backing. Everything is glued and screwed together. And uh, you know, it's really built like a tank. So I don't like things uh, breaking. I don't like them, you know, having to need repairs later on. So I overbuild everything. I mean, that's really the thing that happens with our software as well. We do an extremely, good job at all the things that you don't see so that everything works very efficiently. You know, everyone can add features, anyone can, you know, buy a tool or whatever, but it's what you do with your foundation. You know, what are you doing with your lighting? What are you doing with your dust control? What are you doing with your electrical panel? What are you doing? Oh, you know what else? Every one of these things, every single one of these, go into all these different outlets and all these different lights, they're all on separate conduit runs. So instead of taking one piece of conduit and running it across and then threading all your wires through, we put all separate conduit runs in for all these different outlets. And definitely it is a major overkill in effort and you know a little bit in expense, but conduit's cheap. I mean, it's very cheap. So if we can take a cheap object and put it in when it matters, and future-proof our project, that's a great thing. Again, let's get back to software. What do you need to do? You need to future-proof it. You need to make sure it's robust when you build it. You need to make sure it works effectively, efficiently, robustly, and it needs to be future-proofed so you can always build on top of it. Oh, I'll show you one other thing. Organization. Again, I just like everything to work very efficiently, keep it all organized. Now, kind of a little bit messy in here, but for the most part, you know, everything has a place, everything has a spot, everything is organized. This is a little bit like our content libraries. If you look at everything we do inside of Soccer Pro, we put everything in a library, everything in a container so that you can go access it when you need it. If you look at the player appraisal system, all the questions, all the things are in a container and you just drag and drop those into your player appraisal form. The CRM, content manager, everything is in the same basic mentality. Put it in organizers, keep it all neat. Cabinets, organizers, bins, racks. How you do anything is how you do everything. And I think this gives you a really good idea how anal we are and how we really look to do things that nobody knows we're doing but make a huge difference in the operation of the software. Just like it makes a huge difference in the operation of this wood shop. If I want to move a tool, I don't have to worry about running electricity. All I have to do is move it, plug it into its new location. The outlet's already there. Boom. Done. All right. Anyhow, I'm going to get back to work here. I want to get these cabinets into the Soccer Labs van get them installed and um, you have a great rest of your weekend and if you don't have a free account of soccer pro yet we'll go get one what are you waiting for it's free today it's free forever works great and you will save time you'll save money and you will win more games this is gary with soccer pro have a great day i will see you in the next video bye now